Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Proverbs 17, verse 25 today, God says a foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her that bore him. A foolish son is a grief to his father. Not only does a foolish son upset, grieve his dad, if his dad is holy, and we are assuming that he is, but he also angers him. Grief includes anger. And the reason why a dad is not only grieved, saddened by the foolishness of an ungodly son, he is also angered, is because the father's in charge of that family. God has placed him there to speak the truth, to live the truth by example, to righteously govern that household. And so when somebody goes astray, they are going against his authority that was given to him by God. And if a godly father truly does love God, he will be grieved, saddened by the fact that God is being dishonored by his son. Certainly he will be grieved, but he will also be angry. Because if, if you don't get angry at sin and you're a, a Christian man, then there's something wrong with you. A man, a Christian man, should get angry at the things that dishonor God. And if you don't, then you're not much of a man, the way God would define a man. But then it says that a, it's a little different for a, for a, a wife or a mother. Because notice what it says. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her that bore him. It just makes the mom sad. Moms are wired differently than fathers. Mothers are more sensitive, more emotional as a rule than fathers. That's why God put father in charge because he won't and he shouldn't be at least governed by his emotions but by the objective truth of God's word. Mothers are more feelings oriented. That's just the way God wired them. So when a child rebels against God, the rebellion is not so much as an, an assault on her authority, although it really is, but as a parent, it's more of an assault on her tender-heartedness, and it makes her sad. It makes her sad for his sake, the son's sake that has gone astray, and also for the sake of God. 26. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to flog princes for their integrity. This is a good one. To punish the just is not good. The Bible says that God has given us civil government to have authority, to punish criminals. That's their job. That's the job of civil government. Government is to be a terror, the Bible says, to the wicked, according to the book of Romans, but not a terror to the righteous. So when civil government becomes a tyrant toward those who do what is right or takes the stand of unrighteousness, sinfulness, a terror to the righteous, it's abusing its God-given authority and it will not have the blessing of God. And we're not to strike princes for equity. God says, don't get angry at your government because they're doing things the way God wants them to do. They're governing according to the word of God. You ought to be grateful that you live in that country with a government like that. 
Okay, we'll stop right there. Study all of God's word with me at the thebibleversebyverse.com. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, then pray for me and God's word that makes you a part of this ministry. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at the thebibleversebyverse.com, you can go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, so long, everyone.